Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you so much for over 500 likes in the last episode. I very much do appreciate it. Now, of course, if you do want to continue supporting the series, the easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. But of course, if you're new around here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future content. And of course, if you really want to go one further and be an absolute MVP, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of the Apex gaming PCs. So in the last Last episode, of course, we went ahead and tamed not one, not two, but three creatures here. We've got Remy the Raptor, Max the Moss Chops, and Paul the Pego. So what we're going to start off by doing is the comment of the day from the last episode. Chris Hall here, who says, hey, Python, loving the series. You should tame a Fiomia and force feed it stim berries for your compost bins. Also, you can use just one stack of 200 thatch for it. Hey, thank you so much for the kind words there, buddy. I very much do appreciate it. And yeah, I must admit, I didn't know that it only took one stack of 200 thatch to make yourself fertilizer. So that's very, very cool. So in terms of getting ourselves a Fiomia, that shouldn't actually be that difficult because I've seen a few circling around the top. So if I was to go back up there, we should be able to find ourselves a Fiomia. I don't think it's going to matter all too much what level it is because it's more so a utility dino in that those guys poop very often, especially with the usage of stim berries, as you say. So, let's go ahead, we'll take our raptor, we'll make ourselves a Fiomia saddle, and we'll see if we can't tame ourselves a nice little Fiomia. Because that is going to tie very, very nicely into our next goal for today's episode, in that we are going to put down a bunch of crop plots down by the river's edge there, and they are going to be for berries that we can use in our berry medleys. The Azul berries, the Tinto berries, and the Amar berries. Ah, annoyingly, we don't have a Fiomia saddle unlocked, but the good news is we've got ourselves a level up. So I'm actually going to go for a little bit of movement speed here. We are going to prioritize the Fiomia saddle rather like that. And what can we unlock at level 34, huh? The Dodakura saddle. Hey, that's not a bad way to go, my friends. If you ask me, those guys are fantastic at getting stone. They are another fantastic resource dino that you should definitely have. But now, though, of course, we're still prioritizing Gilly armor. And then once that's done, yeah, we'll get the Dodakura saddle. Because why not? So the Fiomia saddle here only requires fiber, hide, and wood. And more to the point very low amounts of all of those as well. So there we have it. Fiomia saddle obtained. All is looking well. I'm going to go ahead and put the comment of the day note away and we're going to get on with this thing. So yeah, it's around this area up here that I was finding Fiomias in the last episode. This is also around the area where I found this very raptor in fact. So I don't imagine it is going to take a great amount of time to find ourselves a Fiomia. There's a pack of raptors to my left there. They do appear to be stuck, though. I hope it remains that way, because I don't much want them coming over to wherever I may find and tame a Fiomia, okay? Oh, God, that's a bunch of Trodons. Trodons are nasty little creatures. They seem to come alive at night, and when they're in a pack, they do a crazy amount of damage to you. The Trodons being those little guys over there that have sort of glowing eyes. In fact, there we have it. He's now coming over. Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Level 10! It's only level 10! We can take down a level 10! Yeah! absolutely dominating. Oh, we've got a little Dilophosaur army coming after us here, have we? Yeah, get ready, you sons of guns. All right, now we've got a third Dilophosaur. You're dead. Another level up. There's another Trodon just over here. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? You're going to die. Go on. Oh, you're not taking me down. You're not taking me down. Yeah. Ruined. Absolutely ruined. And at the end of all that, you simply force feed the dino some meat and it regens health pretty darn quick like. So there we have it. That level up just tipped us over the 1000 health goal for this guy. And for the remainder of the levels up that this guy may get, we are going to go for weight and melee damage. Oh, sweet lord. All right, we've got uh, a small army of Trodons on us now. Got to be careful because when they are in a pack, I'm pretty sure they get a bit of a damage boost, right? Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're doing a little bit more damage to me now. 10 damage per time. And since there's multiple of them. Oh, God. Are we about to get KO'd here? Please don't get KO'd. Please. Please, 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 please. Don't get ruined. Please don't get ruined. Oh, God. Don't get ruined. Come on. Take out that Trodon for goodness sake. Okay. There we have it. Right. Now what we do again. 
force feed meat. As you can see, every time you force feed a bit of meat to a carnivore, it restores five health. So yeah, you go ahead, feed it a whole bunch. And you get yourself back up to scratch real easy like. So check it out my friends. We do have a Theomir here. It is only level 60. As a result, it should be pretty easy to take down. If we were to go ahead and uh, shock a bowler on this guy, we should be pretty good to take it out the game. I say take it out the game. What I mean is like, you know, knock it out. You know, not kill it. Because that'd be embarrassing and kind of silly and annoying. Oh, and it's gone already. <laughs> Get wrecked there, son. Right. We are in need of any kind of berries. I mean, major berries would be the way to go, to be honest with you. All right. Well, here we are. Let's go ahead and give you some major berries. And then we simply play the waiting game. There we are. Fill the Fiomia. Why not? Then we go ahead and chuck a saddle on you there, sir. And then away we go. Let's have you on follow. And we'll get ourselves back to base. What kind of damage does this guy do? Ha! 32. Oh, my word. That is embarrassing. Oh, look at that. Remy just stealing the thunder there. <laughs> oh, there's a Trodon here. Are you trying to get away from me, sir? Yeah, you better run. Where's my raptor? Oh, my raptor's just sort of going after everybody at this point. Uh-huh. Hey! Thanks, bud. <laughs> Literally going after anyone and everyone is Remy. Up, oh, including random moss chops, apparently. Yeah, sure. You do you there, buddy. All right, guys. We have Phil the Theomia back at base and all is looking well. All right, let's go ahead and uh, sort of park him to the side here. And then what we need to do, according to you guys... Oh. We have easy access to our roof, apparently, now. But, yeah, what we need to do now is apparently go ahead and give him stim berries. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Like, do I just, like, give him one and then he'll, like, poop immediately? I don't know. Maybe we're just playing the waiting game, guys. So, pretty much, my friends, whenever we go ahead and grab ourselves any kind of supply of stim berries, we'll go ahead and immediately put them in Phil's inventory here. And then, yeah, as time progresses, we should wind up with a supply of poop, which will then go into the compost bin and eventually become... Oh, hang on. He done pooped. Oh, two poops. What the... Wow. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that volume of poopage. <laughs> Alrighty, so with all of that done and dusted, we have ourselves yet another level up. We'll go for a little bit more movement speed. And at level 35, we have ourselves the long neck rifle and simple rifle ammo, as well as a Sarko saddle. We actually have a fair amount of stuff going on there. Uh, but uh, yeah, Dodakura saddle. I mean, all four of these things, Dodakura saddle, Sarko saddle, and all of this ammo and long neck rifle stuffs, they are all going to be useful, especially the long neck rifle. So then, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to start on a little bit of a farming area here guys we are going to have two medium crop plots right for each of the three types of berries we're going to be going for here the azul berry here we've got ourselves the tinto berries here and finally oh i don't have any uh, i don't have any amar berry seeds just yet huh we'll have to sort that won't we so we're gonna need six of these bad boys and well we don't have a great deal of resources but we can get them pretty easy Alrighty, so yet another level up from creating those crop plots so level 36 now we have ourselves a large crop plot yeah now you unlock the large crop plot oh man i should have gone for this instead huh okay never mind well we've still got ourselves a whole bunch of other stuff that i want to get done let's go for the dodakura saddle and the rest of it will save up for now, I guess. So here we go, my friends. The time has come. Let's go ahead and place down a bunch of crop plots here. And we will begin on a little bit of uh, farming here in our Ark world, eh? The other two can go back here. And then, yeah, basically each sort of column is for a different seed, right? So say, for example, we go ahead and we put one Tinto Berry seed in there. We'll have another Tinto Berry Seed in there. And then we need some other seeds as well. We need some Azul Berry Seeds and also Amar Berry Seeds. I'm sure if we use our Moss Chops here, we'll be able to grab ourselves some seeds here. Uh, there's more Tinto Berry Seeds. There's another Azul Berry Seed. Very, very nice. There we are. Amar Berry Seeds. Lovely. Well, the good news is it's raining. So these crop plots are actually starting to garner a little bit of a supply of water. However, there are better ways of getting water. We need an irrigation system, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves the intake. This is what you stick in any kind of water source to sort of suck the water out. And then we've got ourselves a tap here. And then we've got some straight piping here. And that should all do the job. So if I was to go ahead... 
and see what we require. Literally just stone. So let's start off with the intake. We have ourselves the tap and we have ourselves the straight pipe as well. What I'm hoping I'll be able to do is I'll be able to maybe chuck down the pipe rather like that and then we can put the tap directly on the end of it. Yeah, look at that. We can go ahead and just drink water directly from this now, eh? Fantastic. So, uh, irrigated, irrigated. Is everything else irrigated? It looks like it. Yeah. So all that's left to do now is to put fertilizer in the crop plots. And probably the easiest thing we can do right now is just to put feces in there directly. And yeah, as time goes on, we'll put feces back inside of the compost bin here so we can get ourselves fertilizer. And then the fertilizer will do an even better job of fertilizing this stuff. You can deposit the feces directly into each crop plot, which is absolutely uh, beautiful. But yeah, we need a couple more bits of poopsie doodles and then we should be good. Oh gosh! Interesting. So you can literally force feed. Oh, that is brill. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I can get infinite poop, guys. Oh my god, it's a poop Kano, ladies and gentlemen. It's a poop Kano. So, uh, yeah, with time, we should have ourselves a nice steady supply of fertilizer. Yeah. I genuinely didn't know you could go ahead and just force feed the stim berries to the point where he just sort of poops continuously. I didn't know that. I now understand why you left that as the comment of the day. Thank you. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, all we have to do is we simply wait for the crops to grow. So yeah, what do you think, my friends? Our little sort of food farming area just outside our little home base here. We can go ahead, grab the berries from our crop plots here, put them directly inside of the cooking pot here, and be on our merry way. So check it out, my friends. I've been doing some odd jobs around the place, just organizing my inventory, cleaning up the world a little bit. And as a result, we have ourselves a whole bunch of fruit coming along here. Check it out. We have ourselves the fruitling stage of each of these here crop plots. And as you can see, we are starting to get our supply of berries. It's going to be a slow but steady supply, my friend knows, believe me. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be worth it. As time continues to go, we'll get ourselves a nice supply of berries. So then, level up time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it done at level 37. What do we have? We have the chitin armor and a saber tooth saddle. Not bad. But what we're going to be going for is the long neck rifle. Wait, what's the prerequisite? A flare gun? Ha, huh, interesting. But yeah, there we are. Long neck rifle. Why not? We are going to need this bad boy if we want to do some top tier tames later in the series. You combine these with tranquilizer darts or even shocking tranquilizer darts very much later in the game. And you're going to be taking out dinos in just a few shots. Like, I'm talking even the biggest dinos in Ark. So yeah, I can't wait to make myself a long neck rifle and get myself some shocking tranquilizer darts. It is going to be fantastic. All right, guys. I've got a pretty good idea as to the epic episode end goal, okay? We are currently at level 37, right? We haven't done a great deal of exploring on the island just yet, and that is because the best way to explore pretty much any arc map is via the skies, all right? So we need to get ourselves a Tyranodon saddle, which is garnered at level 38, right? We tame ourselves a Tyranodon, and that bad boy is going to allow us to explore this map with absolute ease. Like, seriously, they're not just a flying mount. They're a pretty quick flying mount as well. So, if we manage to get ourselves a super high-level Tyranodon by the end of today's episode, I am going to be so freaking happy. For now, though, we need to get ourselves up to level 38, right? So, we need to figure out a way to get ourselves a bunch of XP. And do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I've got a pretty good idea, okay? I've got a pretty good idea. I'm going to take my Moss Chops, the creature that does the most amount of damage out of everyone we've got going on, and we are going to go on a little bit of a mob killing spree. Now, the good news is, in terms of where we've situated ourselves on the map, we actually have a very, very large area where some higher-end dinos start to spawn in. So you see those rocks sort of way out in the front there, sort of in front of 
the icy snow biome there. That is where you get a whole bunch of higher end dudes spawn in. Things like raptors and argentavises. You sometimes get ankylos around there as well. You get all sorts of dinos around there. And a lot of them are hostile, admittedly. But in terms of farming for XP, it's a great area. It really, really is. And let's hope that there's no alphas over there. Because I'm not 100% sure that Max the Moss Chops here can take out alphas. If it was a much, much higher level, like 200 plus... We might have a chance, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My current moss chops here, as much as it is decent at level 141, I am not entirely sure it's alpha killing decent. Oh, dear. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is an alpha car no way over there, that red creature. Um... You see, if it was an Alpha Raptor, I might have said, let's give it a go, see how it goes. But Alpha Carnos do a crazy amount of damage. Like, a seriously crazy amount of damage. Yeah, I am not so sure I could take that guy down. I'm really, really not. All right, guys, so we've got a few Argentavises flying around the place. I feel like killing those guys would give you a decent amount of XP. The bad news is they can do a fairly decent amount of damage to you. And also, they're a little bit more agile because, obviously, they can fly away. So, um, yeah. Oh, did I mention you can get Rex's spawn around here as well? Oh, man. Uh, I thought that was dangerous before, but now... <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's really dangerous. What do we think, guys? Can we do this thing? Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Come on, I can do this! I can take... Oh, that was easy. We do have ourselves some uh, various bits and bobs from the Argentavis that we just killed. We've got some Trank Arrows amongst other things. Look at that. We've got ourselves some cloth boots with a slightly higher armor value. We're going to need to kill way more dudes than just that, though. If we want to have a chance of leveling up, we need to kick some booty. Serious booty. Check it out, guys. We've got some giant scorpion dudes, otherwise known as Pulmonos. Hey, birds. How's it hanging? 147 damage is the amount we are doing to them versus 17 that they're doing to me. What you are, my good sir, is an embarrassment. Look at that. We've got ourselves a couple of levels up. We'll go for a little bit of weight. Ah, oh, look at that. We've got chitin now, guys. We can now make ourselves cementing paste at the mortar and pestle. All right, my friends, I am definitely risking my booty here. We are in a frozen biome. And as you can see, oh, that's draining really fast. Uh, right, we need to be quick about this in which case. Come on, you need to go bye bye there, sir. All right, there we are. Wow, you get a crazy amount of chitin from those guys. The good news is taking out those uh, pulmonos does seem to give us a good amount of uh, XP towards our level up. So if we manage to find some more, we might be golden. What about these duck dudes that give you organic polymer, eh? Do you give a good amount of XP? Uh, not really. And also, we didn't get a great amount of organic polymer there. Maybe killing a Bronto will be enough to level us up here. What do we got here? Level 5. All right, this one shouldn't be overly difficult to kill. I hope, anyway. 147 damage. Ah! That's a good amount of damage right there. Ow. Come on, come on, Bronte. You're gonna die. Come on. There we are. Now we're doing damage. Yeah. That'll do, my friends. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. <laughs> I'm sure if we just went ahead and harvested some bits and bobs, we might be good, my friends. Hey, there we are. I killed a Pego that decided to steal some Stimberries from me. But as a result, we have now got ourselves a level up. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The Tyranodon Saddle. We need Chitin, Fiber, and Hide. So actually, I'm very glad that I went ahead and defeated those Pulmonos before. <laughs> so there we have it. Believe it or not, we can make it straight away. The Tyranodon Saddle. All that is left to do is make sure we have enough Trank Arrows on us. Uh, 39... Yeah, seems like a pretty good amount. We've got bowler on us as well. We should be golden, my friends. We should be golden. Well, as much as it is raining and foggy, it is not going to deter me from my god. Oh, God! That was the Chalico from before. Oh, wow. He was just hiding in the fog, huh? Well, that's me thinking he would become a bit annoyed with me, but apparently not. Oh, well. I'm going to complain to you. Let's go find ourselves a Tyranodon. See what kind of levels we have to work with. And then, yeah, guys, have our first ever flying creature tamed. It is going to be a massive, massive moment in the series. To be able to fly is just fantastic. It truly is. Oh, here we go, guys. We've got ourselves a Tyranodon. It is level... Uh, it's only level 25. Okay, that is not worth taming. We are looking for a 100 
plus level Tyranodon, okay? In terms of flying tames, definitely the higher the level, the better. Trust me. Oh, it's times like this. I sorely, sorely wish I had a spyglass. Oh, at least it stopped raining. That's a little bit of a plus at the very least. <laughs> Uh, level 55. Okay, I mean, it's better than 25, but it's still not 100 plus. Maybe third time lucky, eh? Maybe third time lucky. All right, another one has landed. What do we have here? Level 35. Oh, come on, man. Seriously. Ah. The good news is there is a good amount of Tyranodon sort of circling this general area on the western beach, so it shouldn't take too long. Blimey, O'Reilly, there's a small army of them over here. All right, come on. There's got to be a 100 plus here. Level 35. What about you there, buddy? Uh, 55. And one of them, I think, has just landed over here. And you are level 55. Ah, oh, man. Level 95. Do you know what? It's pro- Ah! No! No, 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 it's basically dead. Thank you, Remy. Thanks. Really appreciate that one, Budski. Let's have you on passive, shall we? Yeah, thanks for that one, mate. Oh, wow. Okay. We have ourselves a full set of cloth armor with a cloth blueprint that is of journeyman quality. I think that's maybe the third off the top. You've got Ascendant, then Mastercraft, and then I think it's uh, journeyman, right? Oh, hey. There's a freaking thing here. <laughs> hey. Don't mind if I do. The Moss Chops dossier. Very nice. Okay. Well, we have ourselves a bunch of levels up as a result of that. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And we ourselves have a level up as well. So there we have it. And now we've got increased XP gains as well. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Let's get ourselves a Sarko saddle and an Ankylo saddle. Ankylos are very, very good for grabbing metal. And they have a special use in that if you have metal on them, they will reduce the weight of that metal so they could technically hold more metal. So, yeah. Kind of cool. All right. What are you? Level 50. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey. That is a Tech Raptor. Hey there, Tech Raptor. hi -ya! Okay. Completely unintentional, but we are going to go for this guy. Oh, it's only level 24. Do you know what? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not you're not really worth it. If you're only level 24, you're just not worth it. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, yeah, I forgot. XP gains. Yeah. Means we're getting a ton of levels up now. <laughs> level 95 again, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's see what we can do here. It shouldn't take any more than... Two shots. Two shots. Okay, that's that's all it takes, is it? All right, well, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some meaty doodles and get it placed on the pteranodon there. This is great. I am very, very much looking forward to this thing, my friends. I truly am. Not bad. One piece of meat has given it 72% taming bar, so... Basic calculations say that only one more piece of meat, and it is good. We have ourselves a male Tyranodon. <laughs> oh, this is sick. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is our Tyranodon. Let's go ahead and give it a name. Let's call you Terence. There you go. And then we chuck a saddle on you. Let's have you on follow. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in the series, we are taking to the skies. Oh, snappers. This is great. Look at me, man. I'm flying, man. I'm flying. <laughs> I have to say the coloring and patterns on Terence here, black and red, absolutely fantastic. Look at him. You are one handsome Tyranodon. I'll give you that, Budski. Hey, guys, quick tip. If you want XP for your dinos, go ahead and chop down trees. If they have the ability to chop down trees, go ahead and do it. Because for some reason, it gives your dinos a heck of an amount of XP. So I'm just trying to make the most out of the XP gain rate boost that we've got going on here. And then, yeah, we'll see how much XP we actually have at the end of it. All right, a few seconds left here. Yeah, man. Keep on going with those trees there, Budski. Now, bear in mind, I had absolutely no levels up whatsoever when I started beating down these trees. Now, though, we have six levels up. I mean, that's kind of good, isn't it? That is kind of good. 1,500 health. We'll go for some weight here. Yeah. So, yeah, quick tips for Python. Go ahead and take down trees with your dino. Apparently, it's a fantastic way of getting XP for them if you're not fancying going ahead and taking down a whole bunch of creatures. And to really finish off this trip, we actually have a blue loot beam here. The first one of the series. We will see what we have going on here. Oh, God, we've got to be quick about this. Oh, wow. 
a compass blueprint, man. The good news is I haven't unlocked the engram for the compass. So if I did want to make it, then we now no longer need to unlock the engram for it. That's what blueprints are there for. So then, there we have it, my friends. We've got Terrence and we've got Phil. And things are looking good. We have a nice farming area to the side here as well. And basically, we've got all of the goals that we wanted to get done for today's episode. Done. So do you know what? It is time to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to spend a second to head down below the video and drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful support. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.